Hello, and welcome to the University of Oregon's Active Threat Training. This is part three of three that will focus on identifying prevention and response resources. It will be led by Krista Dillon, Director of Operations for Safety and Risk Services. Thank you for choosing to learn about how you can take action in an active threat incident. Hi, I'm Krista Dillon with Safety and Risk Services. We're here to cover part three of our active threat training that has the objective of identifying prevention and response resources for you here on campus. I really like to start out this presentation and talk about how preparedness is a shared responsibility. There are things that the university is doing to be prepared. There are things that your department can do to be prepared. And there are things that you as an individual can do to be prepared for active threats, but also any other type of emergency that might happen on campus. The first thing that the university has is an emergency operations plan. And this spells out the rules and responsibilities for how we respond to any type of emergency on campus. It does follow a federal framework, which allows us to work very easily with our city and county partners if we were to have a large scale emergency. And we could also go help them in the city as well. Our incident management team is highly trained and it's made up of representation from all across campus. And we like to take it advantage of special events that come to campus like football and the Olympic trials and we put our folks in their emergency modes. The idea is that they get trained but also if something were to happen we can very quickly move into response mode. We have had lots of opportunities for our team to be trained over the years. In 2015, we had a meningitis outbreak that our team responded to. And we also sent a small team of people down to Umpqua Community College the day after their shooting to help their leadership with the response and recovery actions. On campus, we have a threat assessment team called the Behavioral Evaluation and Threat Assessment Team, or BETA. And their job is to assess threats of physical violence um, and help those who are the target of those do some safety planning and make sure that they feel comfortable. And we meet on a regular basis and can address any concerns that campus has. In addition, the university has a violence prevention policy, which explains our commitment to having a safe campus and workplace and also prohibits acts of violence or threats of violence as well. You can assist your department in being prepared by offering to develop a department response plan. This template is available from our website, safety.uoregon.edu, and it steps you through the steps of thinking about how your department might respond, and if there are special steps that you might take that may not apply in other buildings or other departments across campus. We'd also encourage you to think about who in your department may have CPR or first aid training, you can also have staff trained through PE and recreation. And lastly, we'd ask you to consider having emergency contact information for your staff. That way you can reach them outside of normal office hours if you need to share emergency information. As individuals, one of the things you can do is to sign up for the UO alert system. That's our emergency notification system. It's how we tell you if something is happening on campus. U Oregon email addresses are automatically in the system, but you do have to register your cell phone through DuckWeb. We use a number of other methods to get information out as well. We have an alerts blog that is located at alerts.uoregon.edu, and we can provide additional information there where we may be limited in the text messages that we can send because of size limitations. We also push information to social media and local media as well. One challenge is that we may not reach everyone with an email or a cell phone number. And so we do ask that if you were in a room and you receive a UO alert, that you also share that information with others around you. There are two other places to get emergency information. One is the U of O app on your phone, which has a safety button that links to a number of different safety resources. And we also have emergency procedures posters that are up in our classrooms, offices, and residence halls that go through the basic steps for a number of different types of hazards. We'd really encourage you to take some time and be familiar with those procedures. We also want you to think about evacuation. Many of us come in and out of our buildings the same way every day, but oftentimes there's more than one way to do that. I'd encourage you to practice once a week, take an alternate route to your class or your office, just so that you get used to that other route. Um, we also would encourage you to follow exit signs when evacuating a building. 
One last resource that's available is that we have evacuation maps posted in most of our buildings on campus that will show you those various routes in and out. It'll also identify an assembly location, which is just outside the building and a place that we'd want you to go to when there's a fire emergency. One note is for an active shooter situation, we don't want you to use those assembly locations. We want you to continue as far away from the building as possible. And that concludes part three of our active threat training. We thank you again for joining us today. Thank you for taking the time to complete part three of the active threat training. We hope that this information can help you develop personal safety practices on and off campus. In addition to trainings like Active Threat, University of Oregon Safety and Risk Services and other departments on campus have resources readily available for staff, students, and faculty. Visit the Dean of Students Office webpage to electronically report a concern. Please use the University of Oregon's Police Department's non-emergency phone number and log it into your cell phone and have it readily available. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out to our departments. Your safety is important to us, and it is our mission to cultivate a resilient, world-class university that is future-ready, risk-aware, and not risk-averse. Thank you for taking the initiative to contribute to the safety of the University of Oregon campus community.